I was backstage, so I don't know. <laughs> yes, you know, that was something. What can I say? It was a surprise. It was a very surprise, but obviously I loved it. People from Pakistani designers expect to wear clothes. Yes, exactly. It's, it's a little bit Western, or you know, it's a little bit experimental, and all that. So I loved it, to be honest. The most important thing in my philosophy is that the fact that I'm Pakistani is great. But if Pakistani fashion is going to ever be famous on a global stage, on a global stage, Pakistani fashion will be famous only in the world. We make clothes that everybody can wear, which are not for Pakistanis, which are everybody. You will only get respect for Pakistan then. And that is what I'm trying to do. I cater to Pakistanis abroad, I cater to everybody abroad. The world are my clientele. And it's more about, it's not about where they're from, it's not about what tradition they follow, it's about the attitude they have. So women who have power to uh, wear the pants in the relationships, <laughs> Who are, the, who are into power dressing and their confidence, they can wear my clothes with a lot of attitude. And they can be women from any country, any class, any religion, any That is perfect. Seriously, you know, sometimes I, you know, I'm just like a friend, I'm talking about it. Where do you see the future of Pakistan fashion industry? So, we have a lot of people in the West, especially if you have a market, or if you have a market, you have a lot of change. Because it was 40 years back, it was 40 years back. And everybody was stuck 40 years back. And now it's a lot of change. Where do you see the future of Pakistan fashion? Industry, like, I, think, I think Pakistani fashion industry is getting a lot of hype right now for many reasons. Like, so Pakistan is in the limelight. Right? So you believe log complain karte hain ki Pakistan ki burai hoti hai, burai hoti hai. You'd be surprised. Jitne bhi media hai, foreign media, they are starving for any different news from Pakistan. Think about it. If you're a channel, you're constantly running bad stuff about Pakistan. You love running a story which is something different from Pakistan. Isse badi kya opportunity ho sakti Pakistani fashion ki? So the future of Pakistani is that if you do something, if you do something different, you can. Agar aap isna ki koi farak cheez karo jo log expect nahi karte, that is the future of Pakistan. Otherwise. There are a lot of the expat Pakistanis who live all abroad in Canada. We can make, make keep making clothes with them during a year, two or three for the rest of their lives. Exactly. Pakistani fashion is yeah, So like right now, along with the bad news that's coming out yeah, of our country, yeah. we have a good chance with Yes. So this is the opportunity for us, of all the arts, not only fashion, for music, fashion, whatever, to take all this negative publicity and turn it into good publicity. Exactly. Good Spotlight is on us. Exactly. And the final question. Do you follow fashion Mr. Fatma? Of course. <laughs> Fashionista Fatma and I are, we used to be co-writers in the same publication. Yes. Yeah. Do you, did you ever follow my article, Style, oh, yes, style obviously, Spotting? Obviously, obviously, all the time. Um, Fashionista Fatma is the only person who actually knows what she's talking about. She does her research. Most of the people in Pakistan who are into journalism have no idea what they're talking about. Sorry, but they don't. They, they don't know their research. They have no idea what the references are. So how can they comment on fashion? Fashionista Fatma at least knows, knows what her references are. That's why she has the right to comment on fashion. Oh, thank you so much. Coming from you, it means a lot. Because I read. <laughs> thank you so much, Amar. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Bye. The show is absolutely amazing. Mehreen Saeed, everyone's going crazy about her. There's another model, I don't know her name, but she's just absolutely awesome. Um, and it's going really well. Yesterday was fantastic, today's even better. I think my favourite walk so far was a Sufi one. Yes. That was just cookie concept. Yeah. Cookie. It was just, it was just yes. mesmerising. Yes. Um, but yeah, very different. I, I'm, I'm just looking forward to job, obviously giving promoters <laughs> the pictures. But it's been really I can't wait for my pictures. To yeah, be I put your pictures. Yes, I did some pictures in the yes, one you put yes. on today. So I put your pictures. I have to stop. So viewers, you have to you know stay tuned, and we will get back after a short break. Fashionista Fatma, London. 
Fatma Imar Khan and I am here at Pakistan Fashion Week London 2012 and I am standing here with my old and oldest friend Cookie Concepts obviously he is known as Cookie Cookie tell me about yourself, your journey, where you started and everything Fatma, so you know that I've uh, done my graduation from NCA with you guys right? <laughs> And right afterwards, I've started my business with the name of Cookie Concept, and now you have to speak a little bit louder yes. because you know. And now it's been much over ten years that the business has evolved quite a lot. And um, I've done so many shows. I've done show for President Bush. I've done show for Sherry Blair. I did CNN's 25th anniversary. I've done almost 40 to 50 shows in the span of ten years. And uh, I have a couture house on MM Alam Road. Plus, uh, you've seen me here in London, and I've showcased Jalaluddin Bhumi, and you've seen the. I have seen the collection and to be honest, it was awesome. Uh, honestly, seriously, it was awesome. Thank you. You know, both are like it's like when you're starting with somebody, do you say no? It's just, honestly, it's not that. Tell me about the event. What do you think about the event and everything? Like, I think, I think the event really went well. Uh, it's the second day, and I, I just have reached today in the morning, and I think uh, I'm very happy. I'm very excited because I had a great, great feedback. What people have seen and the, the way they have, you know, welcomed me. That's that was quite, quite exciting. Where do you see the future of Pakistani fashion industry? I think it's the only industry in Pakistan which is booming at the moment. Yes, right? yes, that's, that's, that's right. I had that. Okay, the final question. Do you follow fashion, Mr. Fatma? Don't tell me, don't. I am going to kill him. Obviously, obviously, we are we are Facebook friends, yes, right? Yes, so, yes. And I do keep on reading your articles and all that. Yeah. So I do follow that. Hut ke zara, zor ka jhat ka zara hut ke. Walking down the street and my new the freak, yeah. This is how I roll. Animal this print prints out of control. And I'm standing. I don't think I need an introduction. The one and only Deepa Parvani. Tell me about yourself. What are you doing? And you know, you're here. I'm here at Pakistan Fashion Week UK. I'm very excited actually. Um, I'm showing my new show, Kanale. Um, I think about, like most designers, you're a little nervous. You've <laughs> done about 500 shows in your lifetime already. <laughs> Uh, but I'm excited to be in London. I, I love London as a city. I love the architecture, I love the people, I love the stores, I love the fashion. And um, I love all the little, little nitbits and tidbits that London always has. With the corners way and all the that, right? Yeah, the corners that London has that nobody else has um, in the world. Because America never does. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm just excited to be here. Tell me about the event and everything. Um, great effort, I think, in um, in having this event. I think uh, the kind of uh, lifestyle that we have now, as far as the Pakistani community or the Indian community that is living in uh, England, is very important to show what is happening as far as fashion is concerned. And these are very, very exciting times for Pakistan, especially because we've always had this negative image about what the country is and what the people are like and, and what it's going to be like. So fashion is a great, uh, how would I put it, a great breaking barrier. Yes, yes. In a terms bridge, of yes. a bridge mm -hmm. and uh, a positive image for the country, and I think that's what we're looking for right now. And the fashion, of course, is completely cutting edge. You see such variety, exactly. and you see such amazing designers. So it's fantastic, and I think to be able, for them to be able to show in London is also phenomenal because it gives them an opportunity for more exposure and for more ideas and to and to soak on to what is the fashion right now and to go back and regurgitate and, and come up with something new and I think it's phenomenal. Uh, tell me one thing, I'm asking this to everybody, you know with all this negativity and all that, where do you see the future of Pakistan fashion right? I see it right. I think the future of Pakistani fashion, um, you know we are undiscovered territory right now and uncharted I would say and people have no idea and they're a little curious and what better than fashion? What better than them to see something that is uh, coming out of the third world country? You know, everyday life coming to a Cool, and they should, they need to see that. They need to see that. This is this is multi art hai kya? Kitna talent hai, music hai, fashion hai, art hai, cinema hai. 
एंड इट ऑल नीज टू कम आउट और हमारी हमेशा एक बड़ी नेगेटिव किस्म की इमेज आई है एंड आई थिंक फैशन इज अ ग्रेट प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर पीपल इज द वर्ल्ड टू सी मी वी नाउ बीन शोइंग इन मिलान वी शो इन न्यू यॉर्क वी शो इन लंडन वी शो वी शो इंग इन लंडन वी शो इन पैरिस इज माई लास्ट वी शो इन पैरिस वी शो इंग ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एंड द फ्यूचर इज ब्राइट एंड द फ्यूचर इज ऑरेंज थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच सीरियसली बहुत अच्छा लगता है कि यू नो जिस से लास्ट ईयर हुआ था इवेंट ऑब्वियसली इट वॉज उस उस सेंस में बड़ा नहीं दिस दिस इज बिग मैं हमेशा अपने बहुत से देखने वालों को ये बात कहती हूँ कि बड़े डिजाइनर्स को समटाइम्स उस कंपेरेटिवली छोटा प्लेटफॉर्म कभी करना पड़ता है उस सेंस में जिस जिस लेवल के शोज अगर पाकिस्तान में हो रहे हैं लेवल की बात करें वो वो उस लेवल पर अभी यहाँ पर स्टार्ट नहीं हुए हमारा थोड़ा सा बहुत तो दिया इन बेस्ट आप टॉपिंग और बहुत बहुत जरूरी है जब अदनान ने मदद शुरू किया कि आपको करना पड़ेगा इस साल एज अदनान दिस इज यू नो मैं इस टाइप के शोज नहीं करता अब इतने सालों के बाद इंसान थोड़ा थक भी जाता है एंड आई सिम नो इफ दिस इज हैपनिंग एंड यू टेक एन इनिशिएटिव वी मस्ट ऑल सपोर्ट एंड इट्स ऑल अबाउट सपोर्टिंग एंड इट्स फैंटेस्टिक दैट देर सो मेनी पीपल हुए हेयर सो वी वेरी थैंकफुल टू द इंडियन एंड पाकिस्तानी कम्यूनिटी ऑल्सो एंड आर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिलीज एंड एंड आर एडमायर एंड आर लवर्स Yes, I do. Obviously, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Tell me a little bit. What do you think? See, fashion for Papa is something you know out of this world. I would say because the way you present things, it's what I do. It's something different, and you exactly do the same. Hut ke zara, zor ka jhat ka zara hut ke. That's what I'd say. Thank you so much. So yes, thank you, Papa, for coming here and you know, Papa, event bhi dekha, cover bhi kya. It was such an honor. Seriously. And thank you so much for taking time. Enough. Thank you and wish you all the best. Thank you so and much. And wish me as well. Yes, obviously we are looking forward to you know your other events and all that. Okay? Inshallah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. What do you think about the event and all that? Well, it's it's really exciting. This is the first time that I'm part of a fashion show and it's um it's amazing. I'm I'm really surprised how many people you know came and it's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. especially here in London, there are like a lot of like foreigners, and people are very welcoming, and they accept it, accept it, even to Pakistani uh, people. So I do, I do see the potential there. That's good. See, so something positive coming out finally. Okay, tell me, do you follow Fashion Safari? I do. It's amazing. I'm excited, and I do follow it more. Oh, thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Okay, we. I do a lot of things actually. I am uh, I, I graduated as a filmmaker and then I got into uh, fashion art blog because I like, enjoy fashion. Then I started doing photography and that's what I'm doing nowadays. Like getting into more and more hardcore fashion. Stuff. So what do you think about it? It's fabulous. Everyone here. Rana, Omar, he was. Uh, Everybody is, is talking about his collection. Yeah, today. yeah, he was absolutely extravagant on the ground. Very good. Very good. Where, where do you see, by the way, the future of Pakistan fashion? Pakistan fashion is progressing day by day. Like ten years ago, we couldn't even think of having a fashion show here. And uh, look at all the designers from the world to Omar to Aina. Everyone's coming here to. शोकेस विच इज वेरी वेरी गुड मुझे बताइए लाइक यू सी वेन यू ऑबियसली यू नो पाकिस्तान को जो है पाकिस्तान का इमेज है ना यू सी इट्स लाइक चेंजिंग इन द मीडिया आई डोंट नो इफ इट्स इट्स वेरी पर्सनल आई थिंक यू इट्स यू क्रिएट योर ओन इमेज एंड फॉर फॉर अस टू क्रिएट आर ओन इमेज एंड फॉरगेट द पास्ट बट वट एवर यू नो बीन हैपनिंग और इज हैपनिंग यू नो वेरी डिफिकल्ट Look at her. I mean, she's she's fabulous. And I am right now in a manic house and a mad house right now. And we are at backstage. Uh, and obviously, we don't need to do anything. Pakistan Fashion Week backstage. Too. And I am standing here with one and only hair stylist, who has done this entire show. Me, amazing work. Mm -hmm. Tell me something about yourself. Give me your introduction. Hi, my name is Mavish Thomas, and I'm a hair and makeup artist. But for this event, I'm choosing me to do hair styling for the whole event. and me and my team uh, we did hair styling for all the designers yesterday 
I'm the half with two today now. So uh, apparently we're doing a good job. As you can see, the models here is very sleek, back burned really nicely. So yeah, and very excited. Something to do with Pakistan. Jab bhi Pakistan ka naam aata hai, we are always ready for it. Oh my God! You know that's the spirit. Finally, tell me about you. Like, is there anything going on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, every designer has different things, but today we kept it like really sleek, side parting, very uh, would you call it Western? Uh, would you call it? Let's find Western. It's bad hair, so please excuse us, viewers. And me and my team has done a very great job. Um, that's my team here. They did a really good job. So, okay, so, 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 so you are Priya Patel. She's Priya Patel, and she is also one of your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, that's Yamini Patel. And, uh, we have a lot of Patels. What's yeah, going on? And you have like yeah. 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 And I've got multicultural team. team. So I've got Sidra, Sidra uh, Khan there, and I've got yeah, uh, Niti Patel here. Hi there. There's a lot of us. So <laughs> wicked, yeah. amazing team. We just enjoyed every second of it. Seriously. Okay. And thank you so much for interviewing Fatma. You've been always very great. She's, oh. she's really good looking. Oh my goodness. Look, this is what they say in Urdu. But I still love it. Yeah, no, she looks gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Bhatter. I'm a recent grad fashion graduate and uh, won an award from my school and got sponsored by Pakistan Fashion Design Council. Now I'm showcasing in Riyadh in London. And I'm very excited to be here. And to be honest, I am getting a little bit distracted because of some some you know kid is just crying and all that. But anyway, coming back to to the interview, tell me about your collection and any like what was your theme, how it started. Well, it, uh, but I was more influenced this time rather than being uh, uh, inspired because uh, I was my collection's theme uh, theme name was uh, secure and secure, and it explained uh, the situation that is going in my hometown right now. My tribe is being killed every day mm. yeah, out of terrorism. Mm. So, Where are you yeah. from exactly? Quetta. Oh god, okay, yes, obviously yes, yeah. we all know that. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, I got influenced, that's why I have a secure. I wanted people to please secure my tribe with chains and locks and keys in my collection. Oh, yeah. fine, that's a lovely concept. Okay, tell me about a little bit about the event. What do you think in, you know, in UK? What do you think about this event? I think uh, the result is right there in front of you. It's the second time happening. Mm. And it means that it's getting successful and successful. So yeah, it's amazing. It's good for our country to portray the softer side of our country. And uh, but to be honest, I'm really uh, you know sometimes when I talk to people like uh, with some other friends I was talking and they were saying to me that the uh, uh, fashion is not going to the grassroots of Pakistan. But you know you're from Quetta, and when you say about Pakistan and then you talk about Quetta, people normally have this image that you know people over there maybe you know not interested in fashion at all. What do you think? You know what? There is no physical fashion. Like people growing up in London, they see physical fashion on the streets. Yeah. We don't. I don't. I grew up inside the magazines. Yes. I grew up inside, uh, you know, flipping the internet uh, pages and checking out the fashion shows happening around the world. So yeah. But that inspired me. I grew up in magazines, not in the town. Yeah. That's so nice. And you know, I, th I think that is the positive side of internet and all the media and you know, 21st century. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Anyway, tell me a little bit more about where do you see the future of Pakistan fashion industry? Well, you can see it yourself. We are having consecutive fashion weeks every year mm -hmm. without missing, and all of them are being sponsored. They're promoting talent like us. So yeah. It's going to you be very bright. Yeah, very, very bright. And I think we're going to have our own book Oh my goodness. See? So you have to look at the positive side. Okay, and basically, yeah, my name is Sunobu Hussain. And I entered my first beauty competition last year, okay. which was Miss Sheffield. And I won that, so I became Miss Sheffield in 2011. And then I entered my second beauty competition, which was Miss Happy Competition, where I became the semi finalist for it. And then my third competition was in Canada. I became Miss Pakistan World after winning that. And then my fourth competition, I went to Miss Oh my god, this is, this is going on and on and on. To do Miss Earth, where 10 special awards were given. And I won one of them, which was the Miss Earth Congeniality and Friendship Award. Oh my goodness, I have no words for to say right now. Okay, tell me about your event. What do you say? What do you see here? Like, what do you, where do you see the future of Western fashion and everything?
Well, the future of Pakistan fashion, I think, is evolving in such a positive, fast forwarding way. The clothes I have seen today and the audience is beyond, beyond description, beyond my words. I'm absolutely astounded by how beautiful, how intricate, how so how detailed the wig has been. The fashion is just, yeah, it's amazing. You need to check out the clothing. <laughs> Around Pakistan and everything like that. Do you think that this type of stuff, this type of is going to help in any way with mass media and all that? Do you think? Okay, I think it will definitely help. The reason being, events like this show people that we are modern, we have we're taking a positive approach on different aspects of entertainment, i.e., fashion, and it shows how versatile we are as well. That's good. So, see, if you, you know, I always say to my viewers that, you know, there are this. There's okay, always two sides of a picture, you know, positive no, no, and you know, saying, negative. If, if it's 100% to you, how you, you want to you know, look at things and all that. We have chosen, obviously, the positive side, and so you have to also do the same. And obviously, you know, uh, right now I can see, you know, there's a lot of hassle going on, a lot of, you know, this is just like a madhouse with the backstage and all that. Exactly. So, viewers, um, you have to keep watching the space and all that for more news. This is Fashionist Department. Bye. 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 Bye.